Hey guys, Scott here from Above and Beyond Detailing. Uh, still working on the two-stage correction of this uh, 94 Toyota Supra. Uh, but I just want to take a minute out of the day just to explain to you guys what's the difference between a one-stage or single-stage and a two-stage paint job. Now this car here is a single-stage paint job. And how do we know that? Well, when we're buffing the car, the actual colour of the paint comes off on our buffing pad. So this is the buffing pad originally, and then when we start compounding and polishing the car, the paintwork actually comes off onto the vehicle. This is very common for vehicles in the 80s and early 90s, and uh, all the classic cars. But most new cars today have a two-stage paint. We have the base coat, or the color coat, in this case black, and then a clear coat on top of it. And it's that clear coat that we polish and compound to make the car look nice and shiny, and correct the paint. So why is this important? Well, the clear coat on your vehicle is about 1.5 mils. Now, not millimeters, but mils. And to demonstrate that, or illustrate that thickness, it's about as thin as this plastic wrapper. It's actually even thinner. So when you're polishing your car, you're actually cutting into the thickness of the clear. And so it's a delicate and very careful process when you're paint correcting to know how much you can cut into the clear, or in this case, into single stage paint before you either reach the primer or the base coat if it's two stage. So this will just, just trying to illustrate to you guys that uh, paint correction is not an easy process. Uh, you definitely have to measure the paintwork first to determine how much you can cut and you can't cut. And uh, if you start seeing the colour of the vehicle coming off onto your buffing pad, don't freak out. It just means that uh, you're working on single stage paint and hopefully haven't burnt your car on a dual stage paint, which means removing the base coat colour. So just something to be cautious of and hopefully that explains what the difference is between a single stage and a two, two stage paintwork. And hopefully that explains what the difference is between a single stage and a two, two stage paintwork.